we just put the the uh, cable bracket at the back end. So we're gonna now install the carriage or the carriage back into the printer frame. So we're gonna just move this up. Careful not to tangle up the timing belt cable. So I actually put it inside the head for now. You see that? Grab the bar that you removed. Make sure you don't reverse. Um, pay cl close attention to what's where the left side goes in and the right side of the bar because they're both different. So slide it through. Go through the left here side of the printer frame. And then you want to pivot it into the right side right here. Just like that. And then what will happen is it will just drop down. Just like that. Uh, next, uh, get the timing belt. Make sure that it's not tangled still. And you see that? I just feed it through so that you can... Well, I t what I would do is I would clip it on the right side of the, the gear first. Just like that. So you don't get anything tangled. I just leave that aside for now. Then the next thing we're going to do is grab the gears. One for the left, one for the right. So let's go on the right side first. And so we're going to put it in place here. You may need to lift it up as well. So that's what we're going to do is lift it up, lock it in place. And you need the locking washer. So we lock that right there. Perfect. And the other side, same thing. But the only difference is make sure the gears line up, meaning that the arrow lines up with that arrow or the blue mark that you have had before. So in order to do that, I lift up the gear shaft and I spin it to line it up. And once it's lined up, just like that, lock it in place. If you find you have an issue with it, you can spin the smaller gear to line it back up. But as long as you didn't touch any other gears, it should be fairly straightforward to line up. Lock washer, put it in place. Next, we're going to move on to the encoder strip. We just set that right here. And it goes in the top. There's a small little gap here, a printer frame that it goes into. So, see that? It's still loose here, which is normal. That's completely normal. Because what you have to do next is get the mounting bracket and this little plastic clip installed. So what I'll do here is I install this bracket first. Just like that. It's not going to go in completely correctly, so you may have to pivot it around here and play with it a bit. And if the, the, if the encoder is in the way, just move it all the way and hold it. There we go. So what I did is on the right side, I pushed the encoder in towards the left so that I could put this bracket in. So once that's bright, the bracket is in, take a screwdriver, screw that and hold it in place for now. Oh, it came out. Looks like it came out again, so let's try that again. There we go. And screw this back in. Let me grab the other screw and screw that back in. I'll use the drill afterwards, but uh, for now, that's what we'll do. Uh, then we're going to grab this little white plastic piece. And you see here, the encoder strip, the encoder plate has a little wiggle to it and, and give to it. So. There's a certain spot. If I push down here, the the rail will go down. So it goes right between that, right here. A little hard to see, but you push down, it will lock into place just like that. Then the next thing we're going to do, timing belt. Lock it back in place. So we grab that. And the timing belt, to lock this back in place, you see here, it goes through the printer frame. So I actually place it in the printer frame and it slides to the to the left but it's not going to hold in place until you put that spring back and that's exactly what we're going to do here so I'll grab those needle nose pliers again towards and you see the spring here is right here so I tend to
go on the right side, I push the spring out first. If it unclips, like it just did, all you gotta do is clip it back into place. On the left side here, there's a little clip right here. And it's a little difficult to see. Perfect, there we go. And we're just gonna clip it on this side here first. There we go. That's where it lines up. Then, I'm gonna push it through and hold it so that I can grab it with the, the needle nose pliers again. So I'm holding it with my fingers to grab it again. And there we go. So I grabbed it with the needle. Oh, it came out again. Let's try that again here. There we go. But you you probably get the, the concept behind it. So I grabbed it. I'm gonna pull, push the plate or the bracket towards the left so that I can push and mount the spring on. Oh, it keeps coming out, so let's try it again. So once you got it, clip it back on. Then we're gonna feed the wires through the printer frame again and make sure that you don't get any of the silver trace lines dirty, of course. So the wires are gonna be 13, 14, 11, 12, or 11, 12, 13, 14. Feed it through here, just like that. Uh, plug the cables back in. Uh, you got 11. Yours will be, be numbered, of course. 12. If there's not enough slack, you can, you can also feed it from the top side. That's fine, too. 11. 12. These are supposed to be bent there for a reason because they f oh, yeah. they actually insert into the socket that way. Make sure the teeth or or the trace lines aren't damaged, and they go right into thirteen and then fourteen. Next, so we got all. It looks like everything's in place. The next thing is feeding the coated strip through the back of the sensor. This is going to be tough to see but if you go through the side of the printer frame you should be able to see it goes through the top sensor right here. And you know if you didn't get it through is because when you put a printer on it's going to hit and crash into everything. So that's how you know you didn't install it correctly. Now take the mount the, the, the tension spring place it back in like that Left side as well, tension spring. See the back. Now the only thing that's missing is the bracket for the top. So let's grab that. Make sure it's set in place. I'm gonna grab the Phillips screwdriver or Phillips uh, drill. Not the first one here. Second one. Opposite corners. And you can go from the bottom here to lift up the halogen lamp and screw this back in place as well. Just line it up. And that screws in there. And you got one more. Screws in there. And that's how you put together a 24 carriage after you remove it. Thank you.